New World have announced some server merges for legacy servers, not for fresh. And it's fresh that I sort of really want to concentrate on a little bit in this video, as well as talking very briefly about the Forged in Eternum, the new dev update series that AGS seem to be doing. Now, as ever, a big shout out to my YouTube members. I do really appreciate you guys, but I just want to give a quick shout out to my Twitch channel. I have started streaming there. I've only done two streams and they're pretty damn chill at the moment. I would be very grateful if you come along and follow. I'll be streaming sometime this week. However, it would be a shame to lose the 420 followers, but you know, I can take the hit for this one. And here we have the post from Amazon themselves talking about the legacy world merges for all regions that makes it sound like there's going to be loads it's actually only a handful which is interesting to see in itself this is happening on the 2nd of december there'll be a little bit of a downtime tomorrow just to prep people but let's have a look which servers are actually getting merged in eu topia will be merging into asgard and Faye will be merging merging into Nifheim. I was on Nifheim. I'm now back on Barry for anybody curious, by the way. Eden will be merging into Olympus in US West. I have no idea how you say that. Themyscira and Frislandia are merging into Heliopis. Heliopis? Heliopolis maybe. Akumea will be merging into El Dorado and Iridu will be merging into Delos. Okay so they're the merges. Now they may come ahead and surprise us and do some fresh merges but as far as I know we haven't actually seen any fresh server merges right? I was going through the notes and I do not see it there but we've actually seen well this will be the second round of merges for legacy servers so we have this one up here and there was also one a couple of weeks back now I can't remember exactly when. 13 days ago you can't see it's off the screen but 13 days ago nothing far fresh. If anything the last thing that happened was that the return to maternum event servers they are now normal servers and i think this raises a question about what's happening just in general with servers as a whole we've spoken before how new world doesn't really lend itself to anything other than this sort of like boom and bust cycle when it comes to servers and i do think that is a problem legacy servers getting merged make complete sense you know they made too many when it was brimstone because they needed to and now they're getting merged back into a more healthy population and as long as they're on top of it that's completely fine but what about fresh? So here I am on New World Database and I've just filtered to fresh start servers and we can see that you know at the top it's peak time right now in EU Central but if I scroll down there are some EU Central servers I mean there's one right here that is on 700 people that sounds like it's going to be due a merge should they wait until that goes much lower in my mind no there's another one here for 538 another one here for 367 I don't see why they would wait to merge these I think they should act now they may even act straight after this video in which case I look like a fool but I don't think it's unrealistic to say that we're getting close to needing mergers and I would like to see them just do it quickly and that's if they even want to do it so one thing that we know they're not doing yet and this is like from a question here on the forum we are not allowing plays on fresh start worlds to transfer onto fresh start worlds other fresh start worlds are not allowing them to transfer from one fresh to another however you will have the opportunity to transfer to legacy servers in an update now I have this sort of like weird conspiracy theory that I think they sort of want the fresh ones to die off and legacy to be the main ones and the way they're going to do this is to maybe not merge and to only let you transfer to legacy now not transferring from one fresh to another fresh shouldn't catch anybody by surprise they did say this in the Q&A beforehand but they never really mentioned anything about merges apart from the fact that you wouldn't get merged from fresh into legacy or legacy into fresh I can't remember which way around they said but are they deliberately letting fresh go a little bit to waste I hope not because that would be a very sour taste for the people who've started on fresh but it's just something that I keep thinking about and they're not necessarily helping themselves by not merging already there is this question though where somebody said what happens if the uh, fresh start servers get low pop they'll say the team will keep an eye on each world's health if we decide to make a big change we will announce it i don't quite know why it would be a big change to merge some servers but maybe they actually will will reconsider they just don't want to do it yet they may not want to merge servers because perhaps they don't want it to look bad maybe but by the way don't be worried about the new world population going down it's completely fine servers needing merging is completely fine the game is going to ebb and flow with player base and that's also completely fine what i hope we get quickly is the merges and stuff like that so that players aren't hung out to dry expecting to have to pay to transfer i don't really want to see that so we'll see what happens there's no news there but there is something else that they've been doing and i've not really spoke about it because there's not really much to talk about and that is the new dev update style we're now on to our second video the first one was them talking about player styles and they're now talking about law in this one if i'm honest i find them to be not that full of content not just in terms of reveals they're not going to do reveals in these which is completely fine but for me they're a little bit too short to have any sort of of like real impact or meaningful substance i would like to see them be a bit longer and maybe change the way that dev updates are done in the future personally i want dev updates like this where it's all about like fluff sound design all that kind of stuff and then the normal dev updates which doesn't have to be monthly because they've already said they're not going to do it monthly where it's actually like 
super interesting all of the reveals and that kind of stuff i just wish these had a little bit more of a punch but the second one's out if you want to go and check it out so yeah i don't mean to be like super conspiratorial conspiracy theorist i don't know what the right word is but i just hope they don't leave fresh hang out to dry i sort of hope we see action maybe today maybe this week i just want to see action on it we are going to get a dev update i think this week because i saw somewhere that um maybe on reddit or something they said there would be two dev updates meaning the forged in eternum and presumably the normal monthly dev update will be happening this week we'll see about that though again big shout out to my youtube members i do truly appreciate you guys if you want to support the channel then that's the best way if you don't want to give me money that way consider coming over on twitch and just watch me i very much appreciate it i most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye